My name is Dan Sondry. I'm Chief Auditor of the California Department of Real Estate. After you've uh, evaluated the loan terms for the, all the loans that are available to you out there, um, it's time to choose a loan that best fits your specific circumstances. And so first off, you want to look at what payment amount does your budget allow. And you need to consider, for instance, whether you want to go with a 30-year loan, which will provide you with um, lower monthly payments but a higher amount of uh, interest that you pay overall. Or if you can afford it, a 15-year loan. And that would provide you with a little bit of higher interest uh, monthly payments, but overall a much lower amount of interest you pay. Also, lenders will often not allow your monthly uh, debt expenses to be over 36% of your monthly income, so you need to consider that too. If you don't plan to live in the house for a long time, you might consider an adjustable rate loan, which will give you a lower interest payment early, but you have to be aware of what the rate cap is on that loan to see how high your interest payments will escalate, and you need to be able to pay for those higher payments down the line. Okay, um, you also need to look at um, what loan costs are in the options that are available to you, and those include uh, points and fees that you pay in escrow. You also need to look at the interest rate and finance points and fees uh, that you pay with your monthly payment. And a way to compare those is to look at the mortgage loan disclosure statement. And um, you can ask for that up front and compare mortgage loan disclosure statements between the loans you're considering. And um, that way you can look and see which loan is best for you cost-wise. And finally, you need to look at the overall, the, the, the whole picture. Can you, for instance, uh, afford to pay 20% down, which would be a loan to value uh, a loan of 80%. If you can pay 20% down, you may not have to pay uh, private mortgage insurance and that will save you quite a bit of money. You can also look at whether there's a penalty for prepayment on the loan. Um, and finally, are there any special programs that are available to you, such as if you're a first time home buyer or if you're a veteran, there may be some really great loan programs out there that'll save you a lot of money. And in conclusion, you can look at the Department of Real Estate website, which is at www.dre.ca.gov. And there's a lot of information there about mortgage loans and uh, links to other uh, great sites.